We open on a... Shh. Sorry. On an open road. Shh. What's going on? Shut, Shut up! up! Surprise! <laughs> the driver swerves to avoid ending a life and instead totals his car and dies. Phew. That was a close call. The lady approaches the vehicle to make sure he was insured. Justine is beginning her very first semester of undergrad in veterinary medicine. She is a vegetarian and her parents take her to a nice restaurant that only serves meat and mashed potatoes. However, even the mashed potatoes contained meat. Her parents drop her off on the least busy move-in day in post-secondary school history. She packed lightly. As a kickoff to Frosh Week, the senior students dress in ski masks, ransack the rooms of the freshmen, throw their mattresses out the window, and hold them hostage. You know how all college hazing goes. They then have them crawl on their hands and knees in a choreographed impersonation of Velma from Scooby-Doo. What's going on around here? As a reward for completing their first round of initiation, a party breaks out. If this party was a salad dressing, oh lordy, it would be raunch. Justine, more of a lone wolf, aimlessly wanders through the party before seeing her sister Alexia classily dancing on stage. They leave and the camera pans to a stuffed lamb with a stitched mouth being hung by a noose. Surprisingly not a common sight at a vet student party. Have the lamb stopped screaming? The senior students march out chanting the least PC rallying cry of all time and then they dump pig's blood on all the first years making us question, so like, seriously, where is this school's administration? The first years each take their turn eating a rabbit kidney as part of this insane initiation. Justine is hesitant due to her dietary restrictions, but her sister doesn't care. Justine's roommate Adrian helps her through it. Rashes start spreading all over Justine's body. She continues to scratch like a maniac despite what any medical professional would advise of her. She falls back asleep and dreams of a horse in a treadmill. The next morning, she sees the school doctor. During the diagnosis, the doctor lights a cigarette, takes a few drags, and informs Justine it's food poisoning. In a real Napoleon Dynamite-esque move, Justine sneaks a burger into her pocket to save it as a snack for later. She's developing a craving for meat. Much like the patient she hopes to eat, I mean treat, <laughs> Justine coughs out a hairball. She goes to her sister for support during her massive character development, but Alexia is shoulder deep in cow tush. Alexia performs a magic trick, making her finger disappear. Out of sheer curiosity, Justine chows down on the severed finger. Alexia wakes up to see her finger being dined on. To progress further with the hard left turn this movie has made, Alexia takes Justine out for a little game of Highway Frogger. She jumps out in front of a car to get it to crash into a tree, a skill she has seemingly perfected. She begins munching on the brain of the passenger to demonstrate to Justine that her carnivorous sickness runs in the family. This horrifies Justine, triggering her to walk in frustration down the interstate. Justine starts craving Adrian, less in a romantic way and more in a cannibalistic way. She begins her transformation into a party... cannibal. She attends an educational seminar, teaching how to create secondary colors, and she bites a chunk out of the lip of Colonel Mustard. Alexia takes Justine to the morgue, and a video goes viral the next day of Alexia's cruel joke. With both emulating Mike Tyson's fighting style, they start punching and biting each other. They eventually make amends, and Alexia helps Justine treat her wounds. Justine wakes up next to Adrian. In a scene of horror, she discovers Adrian is dead. It was actually her sister that killed him and feasted on his leg. Alexia ends up in prison. Justine has a birds and the bees chat with her dad, and he reveals her mom has the exact same sickness, leaving us, the audience, with this meaty plot twist. If you're a fan of licking eyeballs, that one guy that always volunteers to play on the skins team, or just think that all vegetarians are cannibals in disguise, then this movie's for you. Drop a like and subscribe if you want to see more horror recaps. Comment down below what movies you want to see butchered next. 